Hello everyone, welcome to the video series on MCQ answer explanation. In this video, I am going to explain about pharmacology related concepts and answer explanation. Let us see the questions. Let us see the first question. Digitalis toxicity is increased by options hypokalemia, hyperkalemia, hyponatremia, hypernatremia. See, uh, in order to answer certain questions, you need to understand the concept. It is not memorizing the answers and everything. Once you understand the concept, you don't get confusion, you will get command over the subjects. Let us understand about uh, the question. See, digitalis toxicity, digitalis mechanism of action is, it inhibits sodium potassium pump. Because of this, calcium levels in the cell increases, which will increase cardiac contractions. Now, digitalis binds with sodium potassium pump at the junction where potassium binds. Imagine this one is a cell surface. On the cell surface, you have sodium potassium pump is there. And to that pump, potassium binds at some point and to that point, digitalis goes and binds. Now, if potassium levels are decreased, so the site will be available and digitalis goes and binds and the toxicity increases. So this is the concept. So what could be the answer? Hypokalemia. Potassium levels, if they are decreased, digitalis toxicity increases. Options, hyperkalemia, hypokalemia, hyponatremia, hypernatremia. So option B, hypokalemia is the answer. Calium in Latin is potassium. Natrium in Latin means sodium. So hypo means reduced levels, hyper means excess level. So reduced levels of potassium increases binding ability of digoxin with the sodium potassium pump and increases toxicity. So option B, uh, I'm sorry, option A is the answer, hypokalemia. Now let us see the next question. Penicillinase resistant penicillinase. Options are amoxicillin, ampicillin, penicillin G, methicillin. Now see the first known old penicillins are penicillin G and penicillin B. There are a lot of problems with penicillin G, like it cannot be taken orally because it is acid sensitive. Again, penicillinase uh, uh, bacteria started producing penicillinase enzyme which started destroying penicillin G. Hence, newer penicillins were synthesized. So the question is about which among these choices are the penicillin which is resistant to penicillinase enzyme. Now see, ampicillin, amoxicillin, penicillin G, all of them are penicillinase susceptible. If you, if you see in the market, we have a product called as uh, Augmentin. Augmentin is a combination of amoxicillin and clavulanic acid. Clavulanic acid is a penicillinase inhibitor. Why this combination is given? Because amoxicillin is sensitive to penicillinase enzyme. So amoxicillin, ampicillin, even penicillin Z, all the three are sensitive to penicillinase. What is resistant? Methicillin. There is a mnemonic is there, condom, C-O-N-D-M, C, clavulanic, I'm sorry, cloxacillin, O, oxacillin, N nafcillin, D dicloxacillin, M methicillin. So all these C O N D M cloxacillin, oxacillin, nafcillin, dicloxacillin, methicillin. These are penicillinase resistant penicillins. So the answer is option D methicillin. Now let us see the next question. See overdose of morphine causes death by options given are hallucinations, respiratory depression, meiosis, constipation. If you see the question, all the four are morphine adverse effects. Now out of them which is fatal causes death is respiratory depression. When morphine overdose is given respiration depression occurs that will cause death. Even general anesthetics also if overdose is given that causes respiratory depression and which will cause death. Now let us see the next. So the answer is uh, option B respiratory depression. Let us see the next question. Antibiotic used to treat neoplasia. Options are amoxicillin, cephalosporin, streptomycin, donorubicin. Now understand this, we have studied about antibiotics. Antibiotics are the chemicals which are isolated from microorganisms which have adverse effects on other microorganisms. The traditional definition says they are effective against microorganisms but there are certain antibiotics which are effective to treat cancer. Neoplasia, neo means new, plasia means cells. So in cancer, new cells will multiply to form, hence it is also known as neoplasia. Now, antibiotics which are used to treat neoplasia is donorubicin. Donorubicin, doxorubicin, they are also isolated from streptomyces species. They are DNA intercalating agents. They cause DNA strand breakage. Hence, rapidly dividing cell DNA is breakdown means they cannot divide and they cannot uh, further uh, causes cancer progression. So, option D is the right answer. We'll look at the last question. Zidovudine action is antagonized by options are thymidine ribavirin, Cephalosporin, Dapsone, Rifampin, Streptomycin, Penicillin G. Now understand this one. See, Zidovudin, this is a higher level question. Zidovudin structural, it is Azidothymidin. In the thymidine uh, structure, N3 Azido group is attached at third place, third place of the uh, deoxyribose ring. 
Uh, now see, uh, structural wise it is known as azidothymidine. What happens is when zidovidine is given, it is phosphorylated. It is phosphorylated to triphosphylate analog and then it is incorporated in growing DNA because at the third position N3 is there, further chain elongation will not occur. So it inhibits GNA growth progression. DNA will not grow further if zidovidine is given. Now when its action is uh, antagonized means ribavirin is a drug which inhibits nucleotide phosphorylation. So how zidovidine gets activated by attaching phosphate groups and this attachment of phosphate is inhibited by ribavirin. So ribavirin makes zidovidine ineffective. See zidovidine shows its action when it gets phosphorylated. If that step is inhibited, it cannot show its action. Second one is thymidine. Now see thymidine, see uh, zidovidine as I told you it is a thymidine analog, a zidothymidine. So when you give thymidine instead of zidovidine, thymidine goes, gets into DNA and DNA chain elongation occurs. So zidovidine actions are antagonized by thymidine and ribavirin. Understand the concept mechanism wise, then everything will be clear. Thank you for watching this video. All the best.